Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at making a duck decoy whirly gig wing spinner. A little bit hard to say, but basically this is um, a wind-powered version of a mojo, uh, just a wing spinner to attract the attention of flying flying ducks and geese. Uh, we're going to. This is a kind of a cut list. It's not to scale, but you can uh, pause this video and take the measurements. We're going to cut the head and neck. Um, the wing arm and the, the two hubs out of one inch PVC, uh, but you could also use one inch thick wood or three quarter inch thick wood. For the other two pieces, uh, this is going to be uh, four wing sections and one of the body sections. We're going to use a white corrugated plastic, uh, very similar to cardboard, but in plastic. I found it at Home Depot. Uh, it's in the same section where they sell uh, the plexiglass. And I'll show you basically what I did with each. Now I started out with, with the uh, head and neck PVC. I cut it out on a pin saw, but you could use a jigsaw or a band saw. I smoothed out all of the rough uh, cut marks just with a belt sander, and I also uh, rounded over all of the edges. You can tell I, I also put a notch in it, and that notch is to hold uh, the arm for the, um, for the wings or for the spinner. That arm is going to get held in place just with a couple of screws. I did sand it uh, down with an 80 grit and then 120 grit in preparation for painting. Uh, this white PVC is pretty cool stuff because it's weather resistant um, and it, it, it's very paintable. It holds the paint very nicely. The hardest part of the whole job for most people is going to be cutting uh, the hubs. So these are the spinning hubs, and they have to have a 45 degree cut on both sides, uh, opposite, kind of opposite each other. I made a jig uh, on, on a table saw. I attached a 2x3 to my 45 degree, uh, and then I also have screwed on a piece of scrap wood so that I can put this squared stock uh, one by one and clamp it into position just with a clamp, cut by slot, and then I can put it right back on. I can rest it against that scrap piece of wood that I have screwed to the to the two by three. That's going to make sure that it's uh, perfectly square. I'm going to clamp it into position. If you'll notice that I'm going to uh, cut the next 45 on a different angle. I'm, the, I'm sorry, not a different angle, but on a different corner, so that 145 is going. You know, from cor one corner to one corner, and the other's going from the other corner to the other corner. The wings have to be opposite. And you have to make two of these. Now, if you don't have a table saw, or you don't want to go through the hassle, you can buy pre manufactured uh, Whirly Gig hubs. Uh, just search on uh, Etsy.com. I also put a hole through each. You want to end up with the 45s making an angle up on one side and down on the other side so that both wings. Both hubs are with the wings are going to spin in opposite directions in the finished product. Now I'm also going to smooth over the one corner on each side just to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. There's no precise measurements with, with this thing. Um, in fact, you can enlarge it to make a, a, a goose, or you can make it smaller, you know, for a little buffalo, buffalo head, whatever type of duck you want to try to attract. These were first made and designed uh, for garden ornaments, and I'm just going to try to use it as a decoy. So that hub is actually screwed right onto the wing arm, uh, just with a three-inch screw, nothing special, um, as long as that spins smoothly. Then I'm going to move on to the body assembly. So the body is going to be cut out of the white corrugated plastic. You can cut this stuff with a scissor or a razor knife. Uh, if you have a heated razor knife, it even works better. And the corrugated plastic is also um, paintable, which is nice. I'm going to cut a little notch. see in a minute that that will help to fold this right over the uh, the one inch thick uh, neck piece. 
I'm going to use a heat gun to heat that up a little bit. It doesn't bend as, you know, as nicely as other plastics do, um, but you, you can get it to bend. You can get it to hold uh, a shape. You just heat it up and then hold it into position and then let it dry or cool off long enough. I'm going to bend that over a piece of the same you know, one-inch thick material. And hopefully the body made out of this plastic is going to give it some you know, dimension so that it's not just looking at a, at a silhouette of the bird. You know, especially a duck flying overhead, it will have a little bit of uh, dimension to it. So that body fits kind of underneath that wing arm, hooks around, and I'll eventually hold that in, in just with a couple of screws. The next step is to cut out and paint the actual wings. You need four of them. You want to paint a uh, dark side and leave the other side white of the white plastic. You can do it with a dark brown or a black. It's the contrast that's going to attract the ducks. While I've got the paint out, I'm also going to uh, spray paint uh, the body as well as the uh, head and neck. And for the for the head and neck, I used you know some yellow spray paint, some green spray paint, a um, little black, a little brown, some painter's tape. And after it dried, I just used a black magic marker to create the eye. So now it's kind of coming together. I just have to attach the body and the wings. Notice I put some holes on the bottom of that neck. That's going to be to, uh, to pivot on when I mount this to a pole out in the bay. So the body assembly, final assembly comes together. It just kind of hooks in. And then I'll just secure that with a couple of screws, you know, one on each side and one uh, on the top. The wings themselves just get pressed into place. I fit them all uh, and tested it just to make sure that the wings didn't hit the body at all. And then I went back and I glued those into position or in place uh, with a two-part epoxy. For the pole, I'm going to use a half-inch EMT. These come 10 feet long for about $7. I pinched one end in a vise just so that it won't fill up with mud when I spike it into, uh, into the mud. And on the other end, I put a, I think it was a 5 8 wooden dowel, and then I hammer peened the outside of the EMT to kind of pinch into that dowel and hold it into position. And then I drilled the 3 16 hole and it kind of made it a little bit larger just by rounding it over. I then glued a 3 16 uh, brass shaft into one of those holes at the bottom of the neck. So that shaft is just going to get inserted right into the wooden dowel and the bird can pivot on that dowel. So this is the finished product out in the bay. It really surprisingly worked very well. Uh, it didn't need much breeze at all in order to turn the blades. Uh, it will definitely attract some attention with the alternating colors, you know, the dark and the white. And really, a fairly simple project. You know, if you were set up and make a half dozen of these, it would probably take you the same amount of time as it would to make one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And by all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. I've got a whole bunch of nautical as well as duck hunting projects on there. Thank you very much for watching.